वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू एर ऑफ जुलॉजी एडुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट आई एम राजदीप आचार्य एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द एंटीजेन प्रोसेसिंग थ्रू एम एच सी क्लास टू सो दिस लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एम एस सी एज वेल एज फॉर बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो सपोज दिस इज एक्चुअली ए भास्क्यूलर एंटीजेन सपोज दिस इज एक्चुअली ए भास्क्यूलर एंटीजेन भास् क्यूलर एंटीजेन ओके एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली एंटीजेन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल दिस इज एक्चुअली एंटीजेन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल ए पी सी सेल वी नो दैट ए पी सी सेल्स आर मैक्रोफाच एंड नेचुरल किलर सेल सो दिस इज एक्चुअली ए पी सी सेल ओके एंड इन द फास्ट स्टेप ऑफ एंटीजेन प्रोसेसिंग थ्रू एम एच सी क्लास टू द ए पी सी सेल विल एनकल्प द भास्क्यूलर फॉरन एंटीजेन इन इट्स एंडोजोम सो इट इज एक्चुअली द एंडोजोम एंडोजोम इन हुईच द ए पी सी सेल विल एनकल्प द फॉरन भास्क्यूलर एंटीजेन so it is actually the foreign vascular antigen okay in the next step in this endosome many lysosomal vesicle will attach so many lysosomal vesicle will attach in this endosome okay and then the important enzyme cathepsin s okay the important enzyme cat सीन एस द इम्पर्टेंट एंजाइम ओके सो द इम्पर्टेंट एंजाइम कैथेपिन एस उल कम एंड इट उल इवेंचुअली डिग्रेड द भास्क्यूलर एंटीजेन इन टू स्म पेपटाइट्स सो बेसिकली द स्म पेपटाइट्स आर जेनारेटेड फ्रम द भास्क्यूलर एंटीजेन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ कैथेपिन एस ओके so it is actually important enzyme and in the next step we will get to see that it is actually let's say it is actually the endoplasmic reticulum of this apc cell it is actually the endoplasmic reticulum of this antigen processing i mean antigen presenting cell and the and inside the endoplasmic reticulum the mhc class 2 molecule will synthesize so basically in the endoplasmic reticulum the mhc class 2 molecule will synthesize and we all know that this region this region is known as peptide binding plate of mhc class 2 molecule so we can say that if i draw it here if i draw it here suppose this is actually the mhc class 2 molecule this is actually the m h c class 2 molecule which is synthesized here the and this region is known as peptide binding cleft and in the peptide binding cleft there are two type of chain is associated with the mhc class 2 molecule these chains are one is actually l i i mean invariant chain another one is cleave c l i p cleave another chain is known as cleave these two chain are associated with the peptide binding cleft region of mhc class 2 so these are the two chain one is actually l i chain another one is actually cleave which are actually occupying the peptide binding cleft of mhc class 2 which is synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum in the next step the endoplasmic reticulum i mean sorry the mhc class 2 will transport in the cell from the endoplasmic reticulum by the help of endosome so now it is the endosome again and it is actually the mhc class 
so the mhc class 2 transport from the endoplasmic reticulum and now the invariant chain and the clip is associated at this region so what will happen the again the important enzyme cathepsin s will remove the invariant chain i mean the li chain and the clip so now i can write here that li or invariant chain and c l i p removed removed by cathepsin f cathepsin f enzyme so now the peptide binding clef region which was actually occupied by the li chain i mean the li chain and the clip that that is a clip now the li chain and clip is removed by the cathepsinase so now the peptide binding clef region is empty so the peptide which was actually generated from the vascular antigen now able to attach at this peptide binding clef region of mhc class 2 okay and now in the final step we will get to see that the mhc class 2 along with the peptide which is generated from the vascular antigen it will express on the cell surface it will express on the cell surface and it will recognize by c d 4 plus helper t cell we know that cd8 plus hel cd8 plus means killer t cell or cytotoxic t cell and cd4 plus means helper t cell okay so helper cd4 plus t h cell that means helper t cell so this is actually the whole scenario through which the antigen process via the mhc class 2 so if i talk from the beginning then i can say that this is actually the vascular foreign antigen and it is actually the apc cell apc cells can be anything it can be macrophage it can be it can be dendritic cell or natural killer cell whatever and basically the apc cell is engulfed the vascular antigen in its endosome then the endosome yeah, and then the then what happened is that lysosome attach with the endosome and cathepsin S is the important enzyme which actually clipped the vascular antigen and produce many peptides many small peptide from the vascular antigen okay and it is the endoplasmic reticulum of apc cell where the mhc class 2 synthesize and eventually the peptide binding site i mean the peptide binding cleft of this mhc class 2 occupied by the clip and invariant chain that is actually li okay so now the important thing is if this clip and li chain occupy this region then the peptide will never be able to attach at the peptide binding cleft so the cathepsin has come and remove the li chain and cleave then the peptide binding cleft is now empty so the peptide attach with the mhc class 2 at the peptide binding cleft site and now in the final step the mhc class 2 express on the cell surface with the peptide generated from the vascular antigen on the site of peptide binding clip site and it will be recognized by cd4 plus helper t cell so this is actually the whole scenario i hope now it is clear to all of you and if you think it is actually knowledgeable then please subscribe this channel stay connect with us and also like this lecture thank you so much friends